Hello everyone, this is Victor off of 7 Yankee Bravo India coming back with another update video for my mobile rig as of April 2024. Figured I'd show you a couple of things I've done different as I've done enough changes now for it to be a good enough video for you all. A couple of changes on the outside, not too many, but I've done some antenna swaps. I've up there upgraded, sorry, to a chameleon telescopic antenna. 17 foot antenna. Um, just by pulling up here, up it goes for 17 feet. And I put on a quick disconnect just so I can take it off, extend it, put it back on, good to go. And for the scanner, I've just upgraded to a longer whip. I've noticed I'm actually picking up some stations I haven't heard before with that longer whip, so, so far so good, I'll say. Most of the changes, however, have been to the interior. So let's show you those. First thing right away is I've added a kill switch to my truck. You turn that, kills power to everything. That is when I don't have the other battery connected. Both kill switches gotta be out for it to work. I got them both plugged in just cause I've been tinkering around my truck. So extra juice for all the gadgets, right? <laughs> so, used to be a Malachite here, but uh, I've decided to try out a tablet. You know the uh, app called SDR++? Well, they got an Android version of it. So I've decided to give that a shot. There's a splitter here that goes to an RTL SDR plugged into the Chameleon antenna. And it's also on a splitter that goes to my Bear Tracker 125AT that I showed you back in the summer. So them two are sharing the same antenna. I've also upgraded to something a little different. I've gotten into the radar radar game um, as that kid goes by. <laughs> this is a Valentine 1 Generation 2. Runs in conjunction with this tablet, which is pretty cool. Because if I were to go ahead and give the truck power, this is pretty cool. I'll show this quickly here. We'll turn the key on. Power that on. Now, cool thing is, it'll connect to the tablet right away. And it's going to fire up JBV1. It's kind of like a mobile command center type of app. Uh, basically, picks up your GPS and uh gives the radar anyway gps so when i go over 50 kilometers an hour it'll turn the radar on because it's on mute mode because i'm well i'm going zero right now right but it gives me a map overlay and it gives me hot spots on the map where the cops like to hang out and uh as well as it gives me weather updates and it actually shows if there's aircraft in the area which is pretty cool among other pretty cool things um, if I had laser jammers, this app would run the laser jammers too. It's, it's, there is a lot. However, I'm not going to get into detail about it because I'm not the professional of it all. There is a YouTube channel I'm going to recommend, Vortex Radar. This guy has so many videos and all this stuff. So I will lead it, leave it to him to explain what all of this is, but... It's a really good combo for, uh, well, just aiding you from not getting caught. You know, if you're going to do anything crazy. <laughs> but this has been a fun little thing to play with. However, that is not today's main focus. So we will clear out of this app. Today's focus is SDR++. We'll load that up. I go to source. Fresh. Play. And here we are. This is working out pretty good so far. I've just got it sorted the other day. So not a huge amount of tinkering. But enough for it to be. I know what I'm doing. So there is. SDR++ instead of a smaller screen RTL SDR 
such as, well, DSP SDR, the Malachite. I've got a uh, nine inch tablet that shows a really reliable app known as SDR++. So, you know, oh, and by the way, the tablet actually just shut off because it's connected to the radar. The radar lost power because the truck finally turned off after turning the key. So that's why that happened. Usually, the, most of the time, this tablet will just stay on because I've got it set that way. But that's that upgrade, which is pretty cool. And I'll go to the other side of the truck to show you where I put the SDR. It's, it's just tucked down there out of sight. I'll show you soon. The other change I've done is I have moved. I used to have an amplifier down there, but that wasn't really the best spot. So what I've done is I've actually gone ahead... And it's just right in here. Right there. Brought it inside this cubby hole. Because it fits it good. And I ran the wires up and around. And there's the cables going out to the radio. So that's where that's now gone to. And out of sight, out of mind, and always on. So there we are, I'm going to say. Those are the, the two major changes, is the relo relocation of the amplifier and getting that in here, which is a great combo. The uh, tablet always is charged because it's plugged into the truck and it runs off the two batteries, so it always gets topped up. And I just run it off of my phone for Wi-Fi. I just tap it to my phone. The phone gives it Wi-Fi and it can do anything I want as I'm out and about. So it's great. Even when I'm just hanging out, I'm in a cool spot, just listening for radio, waiting for contacts to come through, or I can just like watch a movie or hang out or do whatever I want. And yeah, this tablet's uh, a great add-on to all of this. I won't lie. I've had a lot of fun with this tablet, but I will go around to the other side just to show you where I put that SDR. walk around here right there just the RTL SDR version 3 pretty good RTL SDR actually like the like that brand in specific is a pretty good brand I've heard so we will see but there we are for the interior changes and that's the new mobile command center. <laughs> but we'll just give you one last walk around to remind you what this all looks like here that I've done to this truck. Got the tent up top. Got the max tracks in the side. Fuel can, water can. That's all for my straps. High lift jack. And of course the shovel and axe on this side for camping. There we are. And the solar panels again are up there. Two of them, 200 watt panels. So I got 200 watts coming in. And cargo nets galore for all of my gear that I load up and take with me when I go on a trip. So that is now the updated form of my mobile rig. That's the daily, this is for fun. <laughs> Hope you guys liked it. Like, subscribe, leave comments. I do love reading your comments on your thoughts. And if there's anything you can recommend for changes or just um, something I don't know about to make my life easier or rearrange anything, I'll take opinions. I like to know what you guys think on, uh, for my next videos in the future. Maybe I'll uh, apply some of those things you've recommended. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. 73s, everyone. Bye-bye.